Okay, we're back. It's a brand new day of recording, and this place is still terrifying. All right, now, we have our iron key, and we need to see if there are any other doors we can use this on before we bring it upstairs. In fact, we could even try that now, just to see what happens. We have the iron key, and we still need the pewter and silver keys, and whatever other metallic ore key they might uh, have in store for us later. Okay. Good, let's go. Okay, yeah, I think this is where uh, Ernest began recently. I'm not sure how it became locked after him, but you know what? <laughs> That's not the weirdest thing we've seen so far. I'm hearing all that creaking and all that. All right, all right. <clears throat> okay, so we've done that. Now... We have come to the second courtyard. There's the well that we're not going to climb down. That was actually pretty amazing. Like, they had a whole cutscene, and there was a uh, ladder climbing animation. The guy gets eaten anyway. <laughs> Plenty of things to take a look at, but I really want to get the supplies first. Maybe looking at the note folder helps him out. I don't know. I'm not sure how the uh, passive abilities work. Hello. Okay. Now we have our stuff. So, I am not going into this well. We have this. Uh, this bucket is set up for lowering things into the well. I'm sure I can use it for something. What can we put into the well? Nothing right now. Okay. We can't go in there ourselves. This is what we'll need the, uh, the shears for. Let's try it. Hey, alright. Bouquet of flowers. Red flowers picked in the snow. Okay, cool. And what do we do with the bouquet of flowers? I wonder if those are wildflowers or if they were planted there for a purpose. Be a bit of both. Alright. Let's see. There's a saint worshipping God on that altar, or something of the sort. <clears throat> okay. Now, I'm probably going to need to create whatever this is to get through there, unless, I mean, it's possible the bellows could do something. Uh, no, it, it could not. Okay, <laughs> so we'll get back to that. Now, this requires a key, a silver key, if I remember correctly. Let's try the iron key. No, that wasn't the one. Uh, yes, there's a silver lock beneath the doorknob. Okay. <clears throat> see what else we have. Oh, now what is this? Let's see if an iron key works. It, oh, now it's open. I don't need the key anymore, so this is not one of the four keys. Interesting. Okay, now what is going on in here? <laughs> the shelf is chock full of books, rotting because of the humidity. I can't even make out the titles. Oh, well, speaking of rotting, hello, sir. Is that a key? Oh, 
All right. There's a key here. Was the monk guarding it? Yeah, he probably was. Now, I'm going to regret this, but uh, I need this, sir. Okay, hey, the silver key. A key stained by the passage of time. Mm -hmm. It's quite thick. If it were solid silver, I don't think it would have made it this far. I need this for the uh, the greater cause of humanity. Okay, I'm not, I'm not just I'm not just taking your key. There there's a reason we need to do this. I already have the key. I'd rather leave the poor monk in peace. Yeah, you can just hang out there. I'm glad that Husher left this warming pan on, provided it was him. I mean, we're hoping. <laughs> we don't know this for a fact, but we're hoping. Hello. Oh dear. Confessions of the Librarian. Sorrowful admission of guilt by Brother Ernino, Librarian of the Abbey of St. Cecilia. May this confession atone the terrible sins I have committed. Everything began with the rehearsals prior to the concert, although we all thought it was simply the stress. When the time came, and in light of the many guests, praised be, I was asked to watch over our prized texts while the brothers sang, so I never heard them. What I did hear was the howling that ensued, even though I was several cells away from the church. When I arrived at the scene, chaos reigned. There were... the people there. I cannot even begin to describe it. Dead. Wounded. Others had gone mad. And our beloved brothers of the choir, God Almighty. At first they seemed normal, but suddenly they warped into what can only be described as a demonic form. Only to shift back to normal moments later. They suffered from horrific seizures. Screaming and writhing in agony. At times they tried to grab us in des desperation. At others, they screamed in what sounded like voices coming from an unfathomable abyss. We took, to... took them to their cells in the upper floor, on the hallway facing the new cloister, and God have mercy on our souls, we locked them in. We closed the door and secured it as well as we could with a lock. Several keys were needed to open it. This way we could not be tempted in a moment of weakness to liberate that we had, which we had just entrapped. Wow. Okay, so that's what's going on upstairs. And uh, why do we need to get through that door? <laughs> why do we think Husher's over there? <laughs> have the entire choir up there. I mean, I think they can hang out. It seems they boarded this door up in a hurry with a single plank. Removing it should be a piece of cake. Is that what I want to do? Well, it's too late. Alright. Now I can keep exploring this area. We'll get to that in a moment. I wonder who this strange hat belongs to. You see a hat? I would love a hat. Oh, I, 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 I suppose that could be a hat. Uh, the imagery on this decoration is sinister, but interesting. Very much like this game. And so we continue. Ooh, where are we now? Awesome. Oh, of course there's a graveyard. Of course there is. Well, we have to check that strange, mysterious ticking noise first. And then we'll, uh, we'll explore the rest of what's going on here. Okay. Something immediately horrific. This is a great level. Right. Oh. There's a literal weeping angel over here. 
And some wolves. Oh. Look at this. Oh my goodness. What's happening here? This is cool. What is this? Uh, sealed shut. Good to know. Why would it not have been sealed? I think is my major question. A weeping angel! See, I told you. <laughs> it's disheartening. I see tons of individual sarcophagi in this graveyard. The people buried in them must have been important. The heck of a graveyard. It is so rusty, I doubt it'll open. Alright. Whoa! Oh, come on! Ah, these guys I get! Oh, no, you don't! No way! We haven't come this far. To get eaten by a floor. Yeah, I, I, the hell just happened? I love it when that happens. The gate is so rusty, I doubt it'll open. That's, uh, fantastic. <coughs> and so we're going deeper into this graveyard. Well, now. I'm sure this is important. Uh, it's a good thing you're just statues and can't perceive the fear I feel right now. Right? As a standing guard. Carry on, gentlemen. I know there's a reason I had to come out here. <laughs> Something terrible happened in here. Going in. There's a bronze colored lock on this door. Okay, and then a light. A light activated. Okay, so whatever's in here is horrible. <laughs> we, we know that. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> oh! Oh! Okay. Um, why is that now? There's, there's uh, an eclipse. The radial of the anti-Egyptian deity. Okay. Something's going on here. Why did everything just turn Cthulhu for a second? Oh. Bam. <laughs> scared the heck out of me. Okay. So we'll come back to that when we have the bronze key. I mean, I should have known this level would be tremendous. Oh, the wolf is back. I believe this is the staircase leading back upstairs. Meaning, you have two options. You have this gate right here, which looks like it has a uh, lock on it. Uh, there's so much rust on here that the key and the lock have fused together. I can't open the gate like this. Mm. But, can I use pruning shears on it? Uh, no I cannot. Okay. I might need that device that I'm crafting. How about you? Is this mausoleum sealed? Apparently it is. Very good. I'd cry too if I were that angel.
So aside from the fact that the entire universe is uh, bleeding into the realm of horror, we seem okay right now. I mean, I, the player, am nervous as hell, but uh, nothing horrible is happening at the moment. Okay. I think it's time we uh, went back inside. Okay. So the Cthulian haze did not follow us in here. Now we have a silver key. So we can continue our exploration via the silver key. This side of the wall caved in. I can't go through here. Hm. Take your pardon. All right. Silver key. Mm -hmm. Now it's open. Going in. Okay, so there's no immediate dead bodies. There's a lot to explore. I'm just seeing that the place is uh, occupied right now. And there is this. Is an actual door we can interact with. Okay, so first, what are you? An old lantern, a fuel-burning source of lighting. Okay, I can't use it, but nonetheless, I bet it would work if it had fuel. Okay. So we need fuel. Excellent. Uh, there's a ton of random papers lying about. Who knows from where or when? A piece of paper with an odd drawing and some half-written notes. Probably not great. Okay. Oh, here we go. The Librarian's Plans. Handwritten note by Brother Ernino, Librarian of St. Cecilia's Abbey. <clears throat> Brother Victorino won't stop uttering blasphemies, and I know he will oppose to reopening the hallway where we locked in our brothers. But I also know that he hid his key in the thur thurible, so I only need to access it. I apologize if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. I do not know what happened to our prior, Father Malacquius, but I suspect the abbot locked him in his room leaving him with only one possible exit. The door that leads to the cells. Perhaps if I open the passage, I could liberate him and convince him of amending the atrocity we have committed. He is a kind and reasonable man, or he was before the concert. God Almighty, please protect us. Every person who attended that cursed event has gone mad. Our abbot, Father Agaono, most of all. At night, he sings his psalms. At night, he sings the psalms. But his tune warps into one that resembles the melody played by the musicians before that fateful night. No matter where I may be, the twisted echoes of his chant fly over the graveyard and reach me. I must speak to him, convince him of giving me his key, or find a way to get a hold of it. Dear Lord, please grant me the strength to face him. A lot going on. The handwriting on the pages of this book is disconcerting. <laughs> oh, another hiding place. Yes, excellent, great. Found quite a number of hiding places, and I'm very worried about that. Papers with disturbing drawings on them. I can't imagine what was going through these people's heads. Might be Cthulhu. Okay, so... We continue towards the door. All right.
Well, that was closed, but now it's opened. Excellent. Well, good. Hey. And we're wherever this is. Where am I right now? <laughs> okay. Now. I wasn't sure if I heard something there for a moment. Silver King. Hey, let's go, Etienne. Okay. Well, where are we now? Page one from the Abbot's Diary. Handwritten page from the diary of Father Aguno, Abbot of St. Cecilia. The 5th of December, 1912. Brother Ernino has forsaken sanity. Another tragedy in the long list of misfortunes that have befallen us. How far must we stray in the face of such calamity? Ernino wanted to open the door, gather the keys once again, to open the gate and free them. I understand his compassion. Far from the other brothers, I only hear their screaming in my dreams. But he must hear it day and night. And such horror must have broken him. When he came to see me, to tell me what he wanted, I had to do it. If we are to be saved, I cannot waver. I dragged his body into an empty sarcophagus, following the Reaper's orders. Now, only God and death know the way to his key. Oh. They killed Herr Nino! Those are really old wines. They'd be amazing if they were well preserved. There are several boxes and containers on this shelf, but I don't see anything useful in them. Uh, the cupboard is empty. I could hide in there if I wanted to. What the hell is all of this? It's full of strange drawings and words in Latin. We're not going to touch that, Etienne. There's something above it, though. Security bars. Makes sense. No one wants a burglar breaking into their storage room. Nothing but rust and decay. It's a miracle that this shelf is still standing. I better not touch it. Uh, oh, uh, what is that? Why any of this? Okay, what do we, what do we, what do we, what do we have here? I need your shovel, sir. A dead soldier. I've seen that uniform before in World War II movies. I can't believe it. Uh, the poor lad died with his boots on and holding his spade. I really don't want to touch a dead body, but the spade could be useful. Should I take it? Etienne? We're gonna go for it. A sapper spade. A World War II soldier's spade. Lightweight but sturdy. It should be easy to use. The soldier still has one of his grenades. Nothing should happen if I grab it gently. Should I take the grenade? Not at this second. <laughs> as much as I do want a grenade, and all of you who watch the channel know I want a grenade, I'm thinking maybe we'll come back to that. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, oh no. What is this? Getting cold. He doesn't want to hide in the cupboard. Oh no. I probably should have listened to the door, this could be bad! Oh, well, that's actually you know, better than I expected. Yeah. Come on, Etienne! We're getting out of here! Back to normal. All right. 
Well, that was fantastic. All right, so that's as much as we need in this room at the mo. Yep, at the moment. We'll see. Oh, there was a spot upstairs saying I'd have to blast through it. That would mean the grenade is useful. Now, where are we? I am in the granary beneath the new cloister, assuming that this goes very poorly. Now, I think we're probably going to have to come back with Omar, but we're going to go for the grenade. I think we all saw that coming. Grass ball, lose all. Hasn't it been a while now? Should we go check? All right, so I really did not want to lose a Tien. So, Omar, get in there. I'll go and have a look then. Right. Where do we start out now? Yes, I completely understand that. Uh, this is where things went all Cthulian last time. Let's see. The red light in the window. Okay, but the eclipse did not penetrate the sky, you know, yet. Okay, we're gonna go back to the new cloister. All right, I mean, <laughs> I'm sure I'm gonna need whatever was in that bag down here, but we gotta take a look at this, come on. Look at the size of this mausoleum. Oh, wait a minute, 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 it's doing this. It's getting all, it's getting all fuzzy. I'm going to say that is a terrible idea. And we're not going to do it. We're not going to fall for that. We've been in this too long. to fall for a fuzzy trick like that. Looks like there are uh, scratch marks on that door. That's interesting. Okay, now this is the new cloister. Uh, no, this is the old cloister. Wait, is it? Yeah, okay, yeah, so. Moving along. <laughs> We're to go down to the refractory, to the new cloister, and head, head down to the granary. And maybe leave the bombs where they are. Hello? Hey. Whatever you're doing, don't do this. Who's messing around out here? Now then. Back to the granary. Alright. 
Hmm. Alright, so we needed that. Now. Oh, wow. In the name of God, what happened here? It's as if he had just fallen. So what happened was... There was a question. And the question was, would you like this grenade? And the answer, of course, was yes. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Whoa, we all saw that, right? He was in there. I saw him back here. That was the Grand High Squishy. Hey. Stay out of here. Now, as I was saying, a grenade was offered, and um, given the when one is given the question, would you like a grenade? The answer is yes. The uh, the issue is that the grenade apparently had other plans, but uh, the question was answered correctly. All right, now, sapper spade. Oh, okay. Um, I thought that would work. Very well. Let's see. What else do we have around here? These seem important. Uh, why would they write these labels in Latin? That's a great question. Okay, we're not opening that door. This one seems okay. How about this? Okay, but I could hide in there. Exploding around here. We're getting out of here. Come on, Omar! Right where am I now? And what are you? Okay, dark, foul-smelling grease. Although I could probably use it. You know, I, uh... Do need to grease something. Oh! I think it was the crank. A lubricated gear! A rotating gear designed to work with a crank recently lubricated. Mm -hmm. Nice and shiny, thanks to the grease. Okay. We haven't really found what that goes to, but we have that. Okay, excellent. Books on the art of brewing beer. I think Grace would be more interested than I am. Um, okay. Did Grace get eaten last time? Remind me. I don't think she did. The most recent version, I don't think Grace was eaten. Okay, yeah, they're really pissed off in there. I'm watching you. Where... am I? Ah, yes. Okay. Oh no. It loaded something. Alright. I am concerned. I am dramatically concerned. <laughs> Music changed. A large copper pot. They must have cooked for a great amount of monks here. Something's going on. Abandoned recipes. Grace would have loved to take them back with her. Oh, well, you know, I'm glad she's, uh, alive. Okay, cool. Now, what is this? Oh! Can I put the crank back here? 
A complex gear mechanism. It seems designed to move something rather large. Now that we have lubricated the crank, there he is. Hey. Oh, we opened the trap door. This might be terrible. <laughs> See, this won't be anything like a normal day at the university. Now, can I take this crank back? Okay, there was something in there. We all saw that. We know there was something I don't in there. Think that mechanism will work without the handle. I think you are correct. See, now I really don't want to go in there. <laughs> okay. The hatch that was blocking the passage is open. And it's uh, no less terrifying. Okay. Now let's see if we can find the distillery. And then we'll go through that hatch. But this appears to be locked. And what opens this? No. The other side. Okay. Oh, that hanging bag just scared the heck out of me. Etienne? Ernest? What in God's name? What? All right, yeah, I think we're gonna get out of here. Oh, okay. Gentlemen, I leave you as you were. Oh, no. All right. We're going out there. Okay, so. I distinctly hate this place. <laughs> the chapter house. That's the graveyard. That's some other horrible thing. Okay, great. This is where I was trying to get to, so. Now why are we doing this? Cool. All right. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> what in the world are you? Oh, you're a new silence type thing.
no idea how to help you. Right then. I barely got out alive. That was uh, that was a new thing. This is it. Yeah. Okay. I think I should be able to pass now. The hatch is still up. Okay. Let me tell you, there is nothing I've wanted to do less in this entire game. All right. Where are we now? Oh. God. That tunnel felt like it was about to collapse. Oh, there's a lot going on. Okay, cool. So, now. Uh, this book is completely illegible. Mm -hmm. There's a small flame. I wonder who lit it. I have some bellows. Could be useful. Under this table would be a decent hiding place. We could probably unlock this door. Uh -huh. Yeah, alright, this goes to the refractory. Uh, those books would crumble if I touched them. Alright, so now we have another door behind us. But first, going to the bellows. I could stoke the fire, but I don't see the point right now. To burn something is better to put it on first. Hmm. Okay, flowers? No. Okay. Alright, so. That leaves us with this door. Going in. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Hey. What's happening? What do we have in here? Nothing particularly interesting, but the shelves are about to cave in. Another door. A stack of hastily piled chairs. Now. The big stuff. What's happening here? Dear God, there's a key among human remains. The pewter key, okay. A dark-toned key with an elaborate bow. A dark-toned key... A dark-toned key with an elaborate bow. Mm -hmm. It's heavier than it looks. They've all been so far. Page two from the abbot's diary. Handwritten page from the diary of Father Aguinlo, abbot of St. Cecilia. December 12th, 1912. He has been purified. I have nothing to fear. His bones will turn to dust in that oven, for I will not allow him to be taken elsewhere. This should suffice to silence the voices. All is well. I have nothing to fear. All I must do is finish his altar and keep calm. I must not be afraid. My faith must not falter. The real question is, which god are you talking about? Chopped wood for the oven, although it's useless because it's damp. I can't imagine Sebastian wielding an axe, to be honest. Fair. Now. Done all of this. Okay. So we've got the pewter key, and we're ready to keep going. All right, my friends, we will continue our search with the pewter key. All right, my friends, we will continue our search with the pewter key in the next episode. Thank you so much for coming with me. This was really exciting. Wrap your claws around the like button, and I'll see you soon.